Feeling stuck in life, it's the small changes that make the biggest difference. I'm here today to talk about the small changes preparing me for a better life in the future. What's up, Motion Crew? It's DJ Key, and I'm back with another video. Let's go. So the theory of like compound interest, basically like over time, if you consistently do something, the more that you do it, the more experience you have and the more better you'll get at it. Um, and really like just compounding over time. So let's say like consistently every day you do five push-ups every day. You do five push-ups every day and by the end of seven days, that's 35 push-ups, right? So let's say you continuously do that for a month. 35 times four is equal to 140. So if you do 140 push-ups a month and consistently do like five push-ups a day, that is better than going ahead and saying, okay, you know what? After I'm gonna just I'm gonna just knock out like 35 in one day. Uh, oh wait, you know what? I skipped last week. Let me just go ahead and knock out 35 two days in a row. But then you're gonna be too tired to you know do it like again when you're supposed to get that fourth time so compounding the interest is key because it also allows you to get on that gradual slope upwards you know like that's the thing like the small changes so you're just the the goal is to elevate your mind and body and style in a way that's you know like that that's the way that we want to go we don't want to go like we don't want to do that. That's not effective and that's not good for your mental health, okay? So some of the things that I've been dealing with, and let me know if you can relate below, is overwhelm from big goals. So like a lot of times, like I'll set like big goals on myself and I'll get overwhelmed. Like, and I guess like the thing is, is I didn't even, I didn't know what overwhelm was as a feeling. It's, it's like, I've started to notice that like the frustration that I get from not achieving my goals or like the frustration from having to do something towards achieving my goal is like a form of overwhelm, you know, because it's like I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I have to do all these things to be able to get to where I want to go. And if I just take it step by step every day, I notice that it's better that way, you know? instead of just trying to achieve everything all at once. Like, that's just not efficient. It's not efficient and it's not good for your mental health. And sometimes, like, I'm gonna be honest, like like a lack of motivation. If you're frustrated and would think the way that things aren't going for you or the way that things are going for you, you're gonna get lack of motivation. And that's just what it is. And also, like, feeling stuck in a routine, like, I could definitely feel like, you know, feeling stuck in a routine from, just desiring to change, desiring to change the routine. But then like, it's like, you know, you're stuck in your ways. And that's the worst, man. It's really bad because it's like the only way you could do it, like I said, is you have to do it gradually. You have to do it gradually. You have to stick to a consistent schedule. Otherwise, if you just go in and then you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna make all these changes like in day one, it's not, it's not gonna work like that. It doesn't work like that. You have to set your mind to it and then you have to really like go for it, you know? And what happens is like, like I just said, if you try and do everything in one day, if you try and build Rome in one day, you're going to get burnt out. Burnout from trying to do too much is real, you know? And it's like nobody deserves to be burnt out. Nobody wants to be burnt out. Nobody deserves to be burnt out. We're not playing video games. This is not Burnout 3, PlayStation 2. This is real life. You don't have time to get burnt out. You don't have time to be like a car that has tires that are burnt out and still trying to go on the road. Cause you know what? If you're operating a car that doesn't have tread for tires, you're gonna get in a fucking accident. And nobody has time for that. Nobody wants to risk their lives on the road. Nobody wants to risk their lives in real life. You know, sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. But what I'm saying is, is that you don't need to be in that situation if you don't have to. So that's why it's like better to just go at like this pace. All right, so some of the insights um, that I've garnered is the power of incremental progress. So like celebrating small wins. 
I played tennis with one of my fellow uh, rivals today, and uh, he actually ended up. Last time we played, he beat me six to nothing. He beat me six to nothing. This time we played today, I beat. Well, I didn't beat him, but in the actual game that we played, I lost six to two. Now, like, I could have been upset and been like, oh, yeah, damn, like, he beat me again. But, nah, like, I'm celebrating that as a win. I got two games on him. And in some of the games, like, we were playing, like, it was like deuce. And then he won deuce games. So, it's like, if I if I would have won some of those deuce games, it would have been 5-3. Then, like, it just changes the whole, like, you know, dynamic of everything. Because in tennis, like, if you're up, being up, like, 5-2 is a different feeling from being up 5-4. And getting broke, getting your serve broke, is a, is a different feeling from being up 5-4 and your serving. You know, so there's just, like, a lot of different nuances that you can apply to real life, you know. And um, that's why it's just, like, the incremental progress. I'm celebrating the incremental progress of, like, getting a couple games on, you know, my, my rival. So, and focusing on one change at a time. So... You know, like, it's hard to change all your habits in one day, right? That's very challenging, like, and it's not effective to do that. You want to, like, focus on changing, like, one thing about yourself at a time so that you can become that best version of yourself, so that you can really tap into who you're supposed to be to live the life that you want to live, you know? And there's some things that, like, I want to improve on, like, you know, I want to get more consistent in the gym again. Like, I used to be very consistent in the gym. Like, and I'm still like, you know, I, I it's just, this is the thing. I put in so much work for the past three years that I'm still like athletic and I still have like a muscular build. But I'm just like, I know that if I go to the gym, then I would be more, you know, better. Like, I would be better. And that's why I like focusing on that one change at a time, like getting back in the gym is something key. But, you know, I've also been putting more en like energy into content creation. So, and this ties back with my video, turning your passion into profit. So really like follow your passion and uh, you'll be set, you know? So celebrating the small limbs and building momentum. So now that in my mind, like, okay, I've been able to get some small wins. I've been able to, you know, I, I took a loss today at six two, but in my mind that gives me confidence to say, okay, next time, Who's to say, like, I can't get the game to, like, 6-4? Or who's to say I can't get the game to, like, you know, 5-3 and then go up to get a tie 5-5? Five, five. Like, I mean, you know, like, that's really where I'm at. And so, like, that was just last week. So, I'm, like, really, like, as long as I keep playing, like, I could, I could, I could get back to it, you know, and, and creating a daily structure. So, really, for me, man, like, I have things in my mind that I want to get done, but... I, I know that this is an area of development for me is getting consistent with creating a daily structure, like literally having not just having like a to do list is something that I want to get into my life because I feel like that's going to give me more like direction in my life as opposed to like, you know, letting life happen to me like I'm going to be controlling or not. I'm not going to be controlling, but I'm going to be dictating the way that I want to move and, you know, getting done what I want to get done. So I encourage you to have that. And also this mindset shift for the long term growth. So I keep saying this on this channel, man. Do not think, don't even think in terms of like five years. Like don't take, think in terms of like one year, like for real, for real, less is more. In my opinion, this is really what I believe. Having like, having like a fat ass goal for like a long time is better than having like a whole bunch of little goals, like in my opinion. You know, I mean, just locking in and really trusting in yourself. And that's really what I believe. Like, and I believe if you believe in yourself, then you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I hope that this video gave you some good insights and I got a little bit vulnerable with you sharing some of the things that I'm going through. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to you guys tapping in with me on the next video. And, uh, you know, just remember to celebrate those small wins. And, you know, the small changes helping me prepare me for a better life. They'll help you prepare for a better life, too. All right. Peace.